Hi nerds! Today I'm going to continue my series on story structure by talking about six stage story structure. Stage story structure, which is kind of hard to say by the way, is a version of structure that I was not aware of until more recently when I was looking into different forms of structure for my revisions. It's something I came across while I was learning about Save the Cat. It was created by a man named Michael Haig, and it is like Save the Cat in two very important ways. One, it is a pretty detailed structure, and two, it was originally meant for screenwriting, but of course, like Save the Cat, it applies to novels as well. This structure is based on three-act structure. It divides each of the acts into two stages, which of course gives you six stages and also five turning points that mark the transition from one stage to another. Stage one is the setup. Just like the name implies, you are setting up your main character and their world. You are showing the readers why we should care about this character. At the end of stage one is turning point one, which is the opportunity. Your main character is presented with something which either creates or illuminates a desire that character has. This opportunity moves your protagonist into stage two, the new situation. They are learning about a new world, meeting new characters, and feeling overall optimistic about their goals. Then we come to turning point two, a change of plans. This is where your main character is presented with something, a challenge or new information, which changes their desire from turning point one into a clear visible goal. Stage three is progress. This is kind of the calm before the storm. It's where your character's plan seems to be going well, things are working for them, they're feeling pretty good about what they're doing. Then your character reaches turning point three, the point of no return. This is the midpoint of your novel, where your character's challenges get tougher and they have to commit 100% to their goal. Stage four is complications and higher stakes. Your character is now fully committed to their course of action, to their goal, so even though there are tough challenges here and obstacles are getting greater, your character is fighting back and their goals feel like they might be possible. But then turning point four happens, the major setback. This is something terrible that happens that gives you an all is lost feeling. Your character doesn't know what to do, but everything is too far gone at this point, they cannot turn back. So your character makes one last desperate attempt to fix things. Which leads us into stage five, the final push. The conflict is at its greatest here. This is the most intense stage of the novel and it is where your character is giving everything that they have. At the end of the final push is turning point five, the climax. This is where your main character reaches their greatest obstacle to their goal. It's also where their pursuit of the goal is resolved, whether they succeed or fail at achieving it. And that leaves us with the final stage, stage six, the aftermath. This is where you show what your character's life is like after the resolution of their goal and the conflict. This is where you give your readers closure. Michael Haig also talks a lot about your character's inner journey and inner conflict and the difference between identity and essence. It's not something that I've really studied a lot. I was more interested in the plot structure part of his information, but it's definitely good if that's something you're wanting to focus on more for your characters, your character's inner journey. I think it's a little bit too detailed for me when it comes to drafting, and it's just not quite what I'm looking for in revisions, but I definitely think it is really interesting to look at, and a good way to look at your plot and your structure and your characters through a different lens. And of course it may be perfect for you because we are all different and there's no one right way to outline or draft or revise a book. That's it for today, nerds. I will see you guys tomorrow, Sunday, at 7.30 Eastern Time. For our book club, we will be talking about A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss.